one of life's biggest questions is why we exist. Why are we here? Some of us take too long to answer this question. Some of us never get to answer this question. Well, I know one who knew the answer to this question, even before she surfaced. To begin with, consider this. Thousands of years ago, she was covered by a layer of water. A shallow sea whose bed was lined with coral. Corals that built up across the ocean floor, over centuries into a vast fringing reef. And a knowledge of existential purpose pushed her to thrust to the surface when water levels dropped. The reef was exposed. Keep in mind that every decision made by man has a negative impact on other life forms even the right decisions at times. To naturally opportunistic human beings, the fabric of her being provided raw materials for cement. In no time, she would have been mined clean off the Earth's surface. And her story would end before it even began. But no, she fought, fought for her deserved existence, fought to serve a purpose to the end. And now, she's still here. Her name is Harla Park, and this is a fascinating story. Nestled deep within the canyon coast, she creates a home to an unimaginable number of organisms and a converging zone for people from different walks of life. Harlow Park plays host to many lives, ranging from flora to fauna. And within her they get to belong, survive and interact with each other. The incredible thing is, none of the creatures she houses is aware that she was once a quarry. Barren, stripped off her resources, incapable of substantial life support, let alone providence. Conservation gave her a new life. Life that transformed her into an ecological paradise of admirable beauty. The fact that she is special is irrevocable. She is a haven and a home to many. She shelters, feeds and protects a great variety. She flaunts a varied configured floor of the nature of trail that gives her scenic quality. Beautiful and artistic features describe the land's surface. On her slopes, trees and vegetation jut in. Flowering water plants decorate her basins below. The diversity of her vegetation is remarkably considerable. From mangrove palms and majestic indigenous trees, to rare endangered plants that create a haven for botanists. Yet each of these plants play an important role in the overall harmony of our ecosystem. With each passing day and night, the thrilling ecosystem uncovers the ever-changing array of game. And her warm, beautiful arm of green coverage welcomes you to an enchanting feminine nature. Crocodiles are among her dependents. 
they fit into the ecosystem easily. Different crocodiles both enjoy her shelter. They feed once a month, though they can go for roughly a year without food. But as a family member, they have to contribute to the well-being of the family. They act as security for the birds they have built above the den. The birds then drop their fecal matters that fertilize the pond by providing algae and planktons for the fish which is then fed by the crocodiles, hence helping in regulating the numbers. It is an all life cycle, a balanced and healthy ecosystem. The introduction of Casuarinus into once bare land helped colonize Hollow Park's initial barrenness. They grow under severe conditions, tolerate salty water which seemed perfect for her environment. Due to the Casuarinus high tanning content, its needles are too tough and bitter to be broken down by bacteria. Its leaf litter is slowly reduced into a layer of humus thickened underneath by millipedes that has found a land of milk and honey, having her floor for them. Its droppings while feeding makes it easier for bacteria to break down the humus, resulting in a rich layer that make her fertile and hence supporting the growth of other plant species. Lying at her water bodies, are the Nile cabbage and the water lilies that play a very integral role in this ecosystem. They filter the water naturally with their air roots by capturing dust and removing excess nutrients and impurities. Fish stay away from the predators by hiding under them. Just like a mother's love to her children, Harla Park takes care of herself. A clear symbol of nature's vitality is a perfect environment for many species of plants that fill her heart with healthy green foliage. Her green visual ambience acts as a welcome flag attracting many creatures to the park. It's the perfect homestead for some, for others, a hunting ground. As a mother, she provides for all her children and dependents. Her fresh waters are essential to animals' life, like the hippos. They spend the daytime in the water. Her droppings and urine restores nutrients and fertilizes the water. Plankton, a vital food for fish, can then grow. Their moments in water keep pond sediments in motion thus preventing a buildup of toxic gases and help aerate the water. At her fish farm, she keeps a natural reservoir for fish like tilapia and catfish. On the other hand, catfish act as submarines. By feeding on tilapia, they create a balance in the ponds. The catfish movement also cleans the pond and in so doing, all the toxic gases are removed. Birds like Egyptian geese and kingfishes also find their way into the park. They seek security in the many attractions the park has to offer. On a closer look into this homestead, you will notice the presence of antelopes, buffalo zebras, dick dicks and monkeys. Their herbivorous nature acts as the catalyzing factor that leads to the harmonious and peaceful coexistence between these animals. As they graze in the park, the fecal matter decomposes and later on forms humus that helps in the growth of more vegetation cover. Years ago, none of them was here, but they got attracted to the paradise on earth, where they live comfortably. At her giraffe park, Mamahala has various species of giraffes, known to the people as Rose Childs. Mama protects them and helps save the species. They also play an important role in the ecosystem by pruning the trees and keeping them in shape. As they eat, some leaves fall down and help in forming composite humus. Roaming the park are the Aldabra tortoises. They look lonely but yet at home. 
they have no stress, hence a large life expectancy of up to 300 years. They eat the grass at the park and keep it always trimmed. This is one of the ways Mama applies both ecology and economy. A recent addition to Mama's family is the zebra. Currently, there exists one in the park who has managed to cope well with the rest of the animals. The eland antelope find home in her. They feed on the leaves of trees and bushes, grass and herbs which she provides. They are so relaxed with no fear of a predator since she protects them. At the reptile section, she helps home to some species of snakes and monitor lizards. Without snakes, we can have so many birds, rats and mice which can destroy our food crops. Beautiful butterflies migrate and settle in the forest. They are endangered species because people kill caterpillars, not knowing that some are butterfly caterpillars. Her caregivers collect different species of butterflies and groom them in a maternity reap until they multiply and then release into the forest. Here they find a peaceful and secure home for themselves, as they are left to live in a peaceful life and continue adding value to the big ecosystem Mama has managed to create for herself. As one takes a walk through her nature trails, the cool breeze and array of trees are the first things you will take note of. The park was honored by the United Nations Environmental Program, Global 500 Wall of Honor, for the unique, ecologically sound and successful rehabilitation undertaken. With all this, we can agree that Bamburi's Hollow Park Nature Trail is your ultimate safari destination. And looking all around, she's glorious. Nature's beautiful workings are her looks. So real beyond nature's mere providence. She has the finest landscaping, the ability to nurture and improve what nature has provided. On her paths, in the shadows of the trees, a jewel rounds of a rich existence. She is a beauty. She is a living testimony. She is Hollow Park.